Damn, man, even with that hit chance. Oh, I'm so glad that he couldn't reach. I was really scared that one of those guys could reach. Steel bow plus three, baby. It's good damage. I could have sworn that finished him, but I must not have read that right. That sucks. Save some experience for a few others. <laughs> um, where'd that one go? There's a flyer over there. What happened to him? It actually has me a little bit nervous. Actually putting her in a lot of danger here because we can't see what's over here and it's probably okay only one unit that we can see could be worse we need to convoy you another heal
I will not lose. Wonderful! That was that ability! Alacrity! Oh, hell yeah, dude. Was that that ability? Is that what triggered there? Or was it something else? No, because that should only trigger when we do it. When we... Weird. Maybe when we... Yeah, I don't know. Because that implies that we're the ones that have to, if the unit initiates combat. But maybe I'm just misinterpreting that. Can you reach this guy? Okay, you can't kill him. And they're not that close, actually, so you can finish this guy if we need to. Alright, let's make sure we can deal with this right here, which we should be able to, especially considering you can finish these guys easy. I can already tell I'm gonna like Marin. Dude, Alacrity on her is going to be stupidly good. Okay, this guy needs two turns, so we're okay. He needs two turns to get there. Tis I. Okay, we don't quite know what's over there, so I'm going to be a little bit cautious with our flyers. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that axe wielder is probably going to go after you unless his AI is telling him to only go for the house. And the girl can take a hit. Good job, Tamara. Okay, looks like um, more units are going to be a little bit more aggressive over there. Fighting knife intended for close combat, poison hit foes. How come you have a exclamation mark?
Watch this. Still can't get the kill, huh? The rapier, he'll have extra effectiveness against these guys. I'll help you. You cleaned that one up nicely. Can't double. Defense is 18, 26. So we may be able to just deal with these guys. We might have enough damage to. Do you guys have crit chances against her? You might. Those things tend to have... They're not particularly high. Three. And how much can they do to you? Miss. You know, I don't know what's over here. Playing a little fast and loose here. Not gonna lie. There's a bow over there. We've got to rewind on our hands. <laughs> a 3% crit. As long as there's nobody else over there who can reach her. Doesn't look like there is. Oh no! I'll tell my Nana to hide. Use this to beat the bad guys. Cool. Very cool. No, 
nice on a 64. You didn't even have to do it, but you did it anyway. Proud of you. Sixty-six isn't great. <laughs> Got it anyway. Good job, Panette. Don't concern yourself. Who did I put the torch on? Looks like it's on you. Okay, we can go straight through here. Good level up for you. Not bad at all. Probably could have left that. Just in case there's... Somebody coming in with a bow. I'll move you back just a tiny bit. Okay, we know there's at least one unit in that area. Much improved. by the emblems. I hear you. a number of flyers that we don't really know what they're up to. Okay, they're starting to close in. Thank you. 
Not your best one, Etienne. Nothing left of you. Oh shit, she's maxed. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Um, yeah, you can just end this, dude. You're OP, girl. up seeing that I guess all right if he comes over here and knocks him out of the way of that direction then she's super dead right now this is the only guy who can do damage to her and it's 18 minus 7 she'd be okay Your defense isn't that good. So putting you here is a bit dangerous considering the flyers can still get around to this spot. Shit. She's literally missing one HP. She can't chain guard. No reason to use a rescue right now. Twenty-four damage. It was only twelve percent hit, but damn, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> Good God, to stop you. Plus two, cool. Ha! It's tea time. Damn, girl, okay. You 
you looking down on me? <laughs> That's nice. how a lady does it. Okay, both of them have multiple health bars, and they hit hard. Um, we won't torch until we know they're a little bit closer. Maybe I should have torched, actually. Because we're going to want her to attack the next turn. I'm going to actually roll that back. It feels like a little bit of a waste, but... I think it's the smart thing to do. Especially if they're going to put out the fire there. they have dude he has a brave okay he's the one that we got to focus on first I feel like Might need that chain guard, so... Nothing I hate worse than a meddler. You stuck your nose in our business, you'll pay. I shall dispose of you. Oh my god, he crit too. What a fucking legend. What a fucking legend, dude. Why is there a mage back there, too? That's rude. There's no, like, chess or anything, right? No. Okay. I think we're good. Can't believe he just did that. That's amazing. Got Elwind. Eighteen percent hit chance. And if we take it, we have options to heal. Higher defense. I'm 
Shit, dude. Might be able to one shot. I didn't do the math. Plundering rights. If we do have to rewind, I could have set it up in a way where she came here and chain guarded him. So that's our that's our solution if things go south here. Which they might. Let my brother down. 
again. So our girl Yunaka could go into one of those wolf classes now that she got sword proficiency. Don't know if that I'd want her to, but maybe. Sorry for roping you into the scuffle, Divine One. That's all right. But I haven't had a chance to say why I'm here. I already explained this to Queen Sephoria and Prince Fogato, but the fell dragon has been released. He's back. Hmm. It's sudden, I know. You're probably shocked. I already knew. You did? Mom and Fogato did too. We've all known for a while now. Fogato? You too? Sorry. Truth is, our chance meeting in Tula Desert wasn't totally by chance. Were you deceiving us? The opposite, actually. I had to make sure that you weren't deceiving us. When the Fell Dragon returned, we had to take steps to protect our country. I'll lay it out for you. The palace has scouts all over Elios, keeping an eye on the Three Kingdoms. When Elusia brought back the Fell Dragon, we learned about it early on. But we couldn't beat him without the Emblem Rings. And we couldn't use them without you. Our only option was to focus on defense. The Corrupted started appearing, so we had to quickly lay out a plan. And what was the plan? First off, Mom would stay in the palace. She'd work with the Royal Guard to keep out intruders. And we'd send out our militia, the Sentinels, to bolster soldiers' efforts against the Corrupted. As Captain, my job was to watch out for the Corrupted near the Illusion border. If someone claimed to be the Divine Dragon, I'd size him up and bring him to the palace. That's why you hid the fact you're a prince. I was in the Sentinels too, and I wandered the country keeping our ring safe. As part of this plan, did you ever consider asking for another country's help? No. Because then we'd have to help them. We can't fight another country's battles. We're stretched thin fighting our own. That's how Solm does it. You scratch your own back, we'll scratch ours. Thank you very much. I see. I'm sorry we misled you. But we did it to protect the Queendom. I don't mean to criticize your country's way of doing things. I'm just surprised. Here's the most important part of the plan, though. If you did turn out to be the Divine Dragon, we'd give you the Ring of the Radiant Hero, and then tell you where to find our other emblem ring! Solm has a second ring? Yep, the Ring of the Crux of Fate. It's in the... Your Highness, a message from Solm's Corrin? palace. From Fates? Huh? What is it? Hortensia, Princess of Illusia, has breached the palace. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How did she get in? We have to save mom. Let's go. Oh no. Okay. Ivy, do not tell them right now that that's your sister. Uh, it may go down very poorly. I think I said earlier that Tamara was one of the loudest designs, but I forgot Hortensia exists. I think that one might be the loudest one so far. Okay. Uh, this is my dog now. I don't see no collar. He's mine! He yells into the void. There's nothing you can do to stop me. I'm a fucking menace. Oh no. Uh, what are you planning, Hortensia? Indeed. There is no time to rest, Divine One. We must make haste and strike down these intruders. So if Tim Burton did anime, I feel like Penette would be something he would make. <laughs> and uh, I'm a pretty big fan of Tim Burton, if I'm being honest, so I'm okay with her design. I kind of like it. It's weird as hell, but I like it. When I grow up, I'm going to join the Sentinels. Thank you so much. I feel like I got stronger, you know? We 
we go in here? There it is. I like wow. her design too. The Divine Dragon? I adore dragons. If the palace wasn't being invaded, I'd love to chat. To find one, I'm super worried about my mom. Let's get to the palace as soon as we can, okay? You got it. I'm sorry. It's awkward to fight in the middle of town like this. I must look so suspicious to everyone. Is it weird that I want to see supports between Alchrist and and um, Tamara? I feel like they're exact opposites, which makes me want to ship it. Um, just because I think it'd be great. We'll have to see if they have a support and see if we can uh, make that happen for them. You two are exact opposites, but maybe you'd bring out the best in each other. He could chill you out a little bit, and you could get him to come out of the shell a little bit, you know? A word, please. I outdid myself this time. I attribute my success to close monitoring of the enemy's movements. I'm hoping that when we go back to the base at the Somniel, we'll be able to buy some more... Um, master seals. Otherwise, uh, we probably won't be using Ivy for a minute. <sighs> Hate to admit it, but they were smart to hit us while we were away. Now let's get back there. Zappy! I did a number on him today. I should pat myself on the back for this one. So, this is our resident, uh, overpowered unit. Let's see, in Awakening, it was, um, um, oh man, why am I blanking on his name all of a sudden? Uh, Myrmidon, the first Myrmidon you get. He has always turned out really powerful in my, uh, playthroughs of that game. There always seems to be, like, one unit who tends to, uh, become basically a god. In this one, so far, we've got two. We've got Yunaka, and we've got Louie. Then. I look forward to speaking with the people of Song. What sort of teas would they drink? It's not a support, so I don't know if we can count that towards the tea counter. Um. You know what your squad's missing? The one and only Gremlin Anna. Or aren't I strong enough? Chipmunk Anna is not going to be in my party. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. You're like... You're like 11. I mean, at least, like, Fram and Clan are, like, maybe, like, 16 or 17. You're, like, 11. You're too young. Sorry. Thank you. For saving the village. Please feel free to quench your thirst here at our oasis. Hi there. This spice seems medicinal by the smell, but should it be ingested or applied topically? Oh, Just lounging. Wow. You got stronger again. I can tell since I've been watching really close. I mean, uh, never mind. Um, let's see, another one. Where are you? Oh, there we go. It's in the pot. Okay. I can actually feel my skill increasing. I wonder if I can live up to my father's example. He's another one who's gonna get to level 20 before I can get a master seal for him. Ooh. This town is living the good life. Houses stocked and furnished, water nearby. I'm jealous. Okay, still can't take camels. Those tents there are usually for shops, but it looks like nobody's doing business right now. Hmm. I hate having to fight where people live. I'll go look around to see how bad the damage was. You having a moment over here, Atie? So. I feel like I really pulled my weight today. It's probably all the weights I've been pulling. Makes sense. Honestly, you did great in that map. You should be proud. Let's look over the the lake together. The oasis. Okay. 
Um, this is my pigeon. I'm just gonna come into this town and be like, this wild bird is now my property. Try and stop me. Um, hello, ladies. Hello. How are you all doing? I can see I'm not welcome here. They just stare at me silently. Uh, hi, Chloe. Wow! I see you've gotten a lot stronger. You'd fit right in as the hero of a fairy tale. So she's obsessed with food and fairy tales. Yes. It makes me glad Oasis Village came to no harm. How terrifying to see it become a battlefield. Splendid! There's a unique spice one can only find in this area. Its scent always reminds me of this oasis. Okay, I think we're done. Let's depart. Okay, more paralogs, huh? Cool stuff. Alright, this is where we're going to end this episode, so thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, Chris Murphy, JW, Izhar Mella, Bracken, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.